In physics, we actually deal with two kinds of numbers. They're called scalars and vectors. Scalars are numbers that only have size. Some good examples, bowls of spinach, or numbers of bunnies, or the amount of money somebody has in their bank account are all numbers that we call scalars. In this unit, we have two important scalar quantities, actually three, again, numbers that have size but no direction. And they are distance, how far an object travels. You see that odometer, that tells you how far the car has traveled in total, but it doesn't tell you where it's gone or anything about its direction. We have the average speed, which is where you take the distance and divide it by the time. We also have the instantaneous speed, which is what a car's speedometer reads when you look at it. It doesn't tell you anything about the direction. So these are three important scalar quantities in physics. And again, we mean numbers that have a size or a value, but they don't have any direction. It turns out there's another kind of quantity in physics called a vector quantity. Vectors have both size and direction. An important one is displacement. You take the ending point and the beginning point and subtract them, get that length between the two, and also take note of the direction. Displacement is a scalar. The other important vector quantity in this unit is average velocity. That's simply the displacement over the time. And because displacement has a direction, that means average velocity does too. So for example, in this case, if you notice, if we have a compass north, south, east, and west, my displacement is northeast, so my average velocity would be northeast, regardless of how I cover my displacement. So in other words, I may wander backwards, and my direction may be all over the place. But if I wind up at this endpoint, x, in a certain amount of time, I don't worry about the distance. I worry about my starting point and my ending point. I calculate that displacement, divide it by the time, and I assign it the direction northeast.